because HP is our number one brand. Out of all the amazing brands we sell here at HSN, and we've got great brands, we've got great products, uh, but HP is our number one brand. Great laptops. Thank you for all of your orders on our today's special. They are going so fast, but I'll tell you what is sometimes the most overlooked home appliance, but I think one of the most necessary is a shredder. It's finally time to get a shredder, and why not get it from our number one brand? This is fast, this is powerful, this is quiet, and it doesn't only do your pages, your documents, your junk mail, your medical records, your financial terms. It does credit cards, it does paper clips, it does staples, it does those store cards, and it does it all. In fact, it'll shred up to 10 pages at a time. It's a big, powerful shredder, but it has a very nice small footprint. We've got some great colors for you. Uh, in fact, you can do the black that you can see there in front of Aaron. Aaron Berger's joining us for the rest of the hour for more great HP products. Check out this cool purple color. I don't know anyone else is doing purple shredders, but this one is called Thistle. It's kind of like a, a gray purple. How would you describe that color? Yeah, no, I think this one. It's kind of like a light purple, kind of like a thistly purple. A thistly purple, I love it. <laughs> the first um, time I heard thistle, I was surprised, but I was like, yeah, that's a really good description of it, actually. There's this beautiful kind of baby blue. It's yep. called surf blue, if you like that kind of lighter blue. We have it for you in white. We have our eucalyptus, which is like a sage green, and this is our indigo, which is like a nice kind of classic blue. So a lot to talk about already. This is very popular. It's a huge customer pick online. It's so nice. Uh, not surprised to see great reviews, but I will tell you, if you have not shredded documents in a while, they're probably piling up. You probably have drawers full of documents. You probably have filing cabinets that are overflowing. You probably have a basement or a closet or an attic that you would love to get that space back. And we can do it if we can finally have a safe and secure way to shred those personal documents, right, Aaron? You can see how not careful I'm being about this, right? How I'm just <laughs> stuffing. I'm doing that on purpose. It's I'm, not pretty. No, I'm actually a pretty organized OCD kind of guy, but I wanted to show you don't have to be. So here's the thing with this printer. But what they call the bypass tray in the front, right? I'm gonna just do very nicely one page. Now I'm just gonna do three, this is three pages. I'll just show you here. You can do up to 10 pages at a time here. You do not, as I was showing you, you do not have to be neat or careful about it. You can fold those babies in half and say sayonara. However, this is what changes, that. yeah, and, and, and we'll talk about the strip size in just a second. This is what changes everything, ready? This is the big daddy. So this is up to 100 pages of shredding right in here, up to 100 sheets. Your tax documents, see you later. Your junk mail, see you later. Personal information like credit card slips and school application, that all needs to go. Medical records, I don't want you to see my medical records, see you later. Credit card statements, financial information, utility bills. Can you imagine shredding all these one at a time? You don't have to. Tax documents after seven years. Junk mail, even junk mail, by the way, you can be using the bypass these are credit cards. You can be shredding junk mail that has credit cards in them or staples in them. You don't even have to undo it. This is a, um, a shredder that does not need to be taken care of. And what I mean by that is it doesn't need lubrication or oil sheets. Oh, nice. So that's a really nice thing about it too. I've been selling HP at HSN for a long time. I've been at HSN for 17 years. Over 10 of those years I've sold HP. Do you know how many times I've sold HP shredders? Probably five. Uh, we very, very rarely have them. When we do, Everybody loves them. Let me put my water back here. So, sorry, I put that in the wrong place. I don't want to knock it over. One of the best things about this shredder, it's on casters. So it's really easy. It's, it's not heavy, but it is, uh, you, you know, wouldn't want to pick it up every second, right? It's, especially many of you. So you can roll this around wherever you want when you're not using it, fold it up, it can go right underneath your desk. It has uh, fast forward and reverse. In the time that I have been selling it, I have never once had a jam, so I've never had to use the reverse. Let's talk about the type of shredding. So this is your full on micro cut confetti shredding. And that's really important because a lot of other shredders don't shred this finely. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, next door here. This is the older style, what they call strip shredding. Always careful saying that on air. This is the strip. See, I can't do it. Strip <laughs> shredding. I jinxed myself. Anyway, but you can see, 
<laughs> I'm not going to say it three it's times. It's like sheet set. I am not. It's like sheet set. Get That's you. a hard one too. Yeah. Don't say it three times fast. You get yourself in trouble. No. So you can still read what's going on here. I'm going to just put that down. That's not the shredding we want to do. Cross cut. It was a little bit better, but still you could read individual letters and numbers. You can't. This is better, but this. Look at. Good luck. <laughs> the yeah. world's most patient now you have thief confetti could not. For a party. <laughs> that's right. Now you have now literally you have confetti uh, for a party. That's right. Confetti for a gerbil. Or for I don't know. I've never had a gerbil, but I think that they probably would like confetti. They would like those. May Be a picky hamsters? gerbil to not like confetti. Um, <laughs> yeah, they don't get to choose yeah. anyway. I think for for packing material, for parties, for those kind of things. Something else I want to show y'all that's really cool here that I really like. Um, let me um, put some more pages in here to shred, and I'll show you this really neat feature. And that is that um, it has this really nice uh, safety feature on it. So if you pull this out, it stops automatically, which is uh -huh. nice because there's a shredding mechanism sure. in there, obviously, right? And you wanna, you, that's not something you wanna tango with. You don't, it keeps you protected. And then as soon as it goes back in, um, it automatically starts yeah. to shred again. I like again. that window on the front so you can kind of see like Feels how good. much room do I have left I like in this bin. Too. Now, yep. it's a substantial bin, about four and a half gallons. Okay. So, uh, because you're also pulverizing these documents, uh, that can hold a lot before you actually have to empty it. You ready for a job? Yeah. I've got a job for you, come here. Okay. You gotta help me out. All right. Your official job is to be this, the, this imagine this is a garbage can. <laughs> it was just the best we could do at, th at this moment. This, you probably, we haven't sold this together, have we? I'm no. just remembering, we haven't never done this. Well, this opens, you've probably sold other shredders. This is, is one of the coolest ways to empty I've ever seen. It's kind of like the high-end vacuum cleaners, look it. Oh, Did you yeah. know that was there? So it has like a little trap door on yeah. the bottom. The, the advantage of that is that you don't have to kind of do this number where half mm -hmm. of it ends up on the floor. Always And half spills. of it ends up, thank you so much for being for being my, my Vanna on that. Okay, and I, will take that I away. got that down. Take that away from you now. Thank you, okay. my dear. Okay, <laughs> that's so impressive. That's yeah, nice little feature, huh? I, I like the size too, because I know what you're thinking. Oh gosh, just what I need is another, you know, mm, appliance right. in the home office or the kitchen, or maybe it's in the basement. This is the perfect size. It's not too big. I want to give you the dimensions. It's about 20 inches high. It's about 13 inches across, but look at the depth. Front to back, that's about eight and a half inches. Eight and a half inches. So about a square foot is really all you need. And of course, once you plug it in, really easy to use buttons on the top, but it is really important to shred. In fact, if you don't have a shredder, you have a couple options. You can just throw things away without shredding, or maybe you think, oh, I tore it in half. Oh, so top secret of me. <laughs> yeah. And then you throw it in a trash can. Uh, I live in a big apartment building. Oh, great. Guess how many other Same. people are lifting right. up the lid of that Same. trash can and adding their trash, right? So pretty much, of course, of course, the wind blows and maybe knocks your personal trash can over and then anybody can pick up that information. The other option, mm -hmm. if you're not just throwing it away, is to take it to a place that does shredding. And I've done that many times. I'm like, oh, I got a couple bags of stuff. I'll take it to that shredder. They charge you like by the pound. Or I'm like, leg. why was that box that was not that big, like $30 to have someone else shred for me? So in the long run, this not only gives you the power to kind of keep everything at a minimum, you can shred every day. You can just automatically drop your junk mail in there the minute you walk in the front door. Wouldn't that be nice to not have those piles that kind of creep up on you? Or if you do have to tackle some of those big piles, do it with your own shredder. You'll be so glad that you got this. When you have the auto dock feeder, especially, we're gonna talk, we've got a really nice, like one of the nicest we sell HP printer coming up in a minute and it has an auto dock feeder as well. It has a 35 page auto dock feeder. The auto dock feeder on this, I think just totally changes everything, right? Just to be able to uh, take a great big stack up to 100 pages and pop them in. And maybe while that's happening, maybe there's other things that you need to be a little bit more careful. Like, is that something I want to save or is that something I want to get rid of? That's fine. You can be doing it all at the same time, even with credit card, just throw a credit card in there. I mean, I'm, you, this is not something about which we are being very careful, as you can see. Yeah. And it just, it told me I overloaded it, so I reversed a little bit, forwarded it, and then we are, and then we are shredding again. Oh, and actually, we are, uh, then we are, we are ready to go. That's how simple it is to make sure you're taking care of the things you need to take care of. Now, to that point, we have an FTC statement. You know, Sarah says it's important to shred things. Aaron says it's important to shred things. What's the government say? <laughs> well, we can actually show you. You know, we talk a lot about security and we talk about um, protecting our, our, our personal 
uh, our, our personal belongings and those sort of things, the FTC actually says there are many steps consumers can take to minimize their risk of being an identity theft victim. For example, you should closely guard your very important here, social security numbers and shred. What should you shred? Uh, receipts, copies yes. of credit applications, other sensitive documents, medical records. You know, maybe you have old letters from your ex-boyfriend. For example. You don't want your new boyfriend to find. <laughs> so maybe get rid of those, photos would you? of your ex-boyfriend. Uh, maybe you want to get rid of those. Uh, medical records, junk mail. I mean, think about it. In fact, you can even shred old tax documents, right? If you go back, what, more than seven oh, years? That's a good, so we have uh, some stills that we can show you on that as well that, that are, are really helpful. So when we t think about in terms of time, what you should shred and when you should shred it. So things that are about a year old, we're going to pop these up for you and I'm going to uh, read them for you in just a second. Here we go. Uh, immediately, please shred your sales and your ATM receipts, your credit card statements, your credit card offers, and your paid utility bills. That's what the government recommends right away. As soon as you're done with it, get rid of them. Um, up to one year, pay stubs, bank statements, and paid undisputed medical bills. And then Sarah mentioned tax documents just a moment ago. Um, after seven years, and you'll see this one next. So we did one year pay stubs, bank statements, and uh, undisputed medical bills after seven years all your tax documents after seven years and your W-2s wow. should be out of here. So if you're just leaving all that stuff around in boxes, you don't have to keep that anymore. You don't have Black, to. very Shred popular. It. Thistle is purple. This is our surf blue. White, I, I'm gonna find out if we have any of the white left because I know this one has been very, very popular. We have 100 left if you want the white. I love the white. It looks so cool and pristine and modern and fresh. And then we have the blue, which is the indigo. And then we have this one, which is your Eucalyptus. This is a Black Friday deal. Our Black Friday deals are our best value of the entire season. Not going to get a better deal than this. We have interest-free financing. We have free shipping. And get it home today. It's a nice compliment to our today's special, which has been a runaway hit. I know why. You wait all year for our best price of the year.